I saw that tombstone that says, I died from not forwarding that email to 10 people. Yeah, so, like, what's with those chain mail emails anyway? You know what I mean, the ones that say things like, I've selected you as one of my 10 best, closest women friends. I love you, and I want you to appreciate yourself today. Today, you are loved. You are a special woman. Take time to appreciate yourself. Honor and love yourself today. Pass this on to 10 other women, or die. I mean, what the fuck? So what do I do? I, I don't want to break the chain, but I hate those stupid chain mail letters. And most of the time they're from friends, mostly women friends, nice women friends, respectable women friends, women who I don't want to offend and insult by breaking the chain. But honestly, I think they're kind of idiotic. So I guess I have to come out about this. I guess I have to admit it. Right here on the World Wide Web, I am admitting it. I don't pass those chain mails on. But listen, I mean, what are they anyway, those chain letters? Are they some kind of magical hacking? Okay, just think about this for a minute. Is God hacking into our inner beings via chain mail? Uh, give me a minute here. Is chain mail kind of like a cosmic test? Is chain mail one of the ways that God finds out if we're really good people? Some of us do believe in God still, and hey, it's the modern age, so of course God, he, she, would use his or her spiritual hacking into our inner psyche via our computers. Makes sense. Hmm. God is searching for those who break the chain. I get it. But wait, I, I still don't want to forward those stupid emails. I don't want to coerce my friends to forward them either. But still, what if there is a God on high who watches if you don't forward those emails? And if you don't, bad things happen to other people and you because of you. I mean, really, is forwarding 10 emails so much for God to ask? No. You would do that for somebody you barely knew on Facebook. Come on, admit it. But no, you don't do it. And you could die. Scary, right? Okay, so if this whole thing is set up that way, how would it work on a practical level? Does the great, omnipotent, he, she, the all that is, the oneness, hack into your computer and then maybe, I don't know, maybe come back again 10 days later to see if you actually forwarded the email? And if you didn't forward the chain mail, does the great, the magnificent, the spirit on high look down from that massive blinding white tower, cheeks red with anger, chest expanded with his, her fullest breath, arms tight, muscled, angry, wagging that finger, looking right at me, right at you, proclaiming in a thundering voice, I strike you dead for not forwarding ten of those chain mails. Oh shit, I'm scaring myself. That image above, that tombstone? That could be mine. That could be yours. Think about it.